Playoffs! We are in the fucking playoffs now. Thank you to the Chicago Bears as of right now. And thank you very much for the fucking Vikings to choke once again and help us the fuck out and take that spot for the sixth seed. So, give you a round of applause. Remember when I told you in the beginning of the year, like, as long as we make the wild card, I'd be satisfied? Well, I am satisfied. I'm satisfied because we're not going out like fucking chumps. This way we show the fucking league we're not going out by like chumps. But at the same time, they shouldn't have let us in the fucking playoffs. How the Bears listen to us, I don't know. How the Bears listen to fucking Doug Peterson and Mike Rowe that used to work with these coaches, I don't know how that even happened. But it fucking happened. They let us in the fucking door like... Um, we want now we got a chance to make some fucking noise, okay? We have a chance to make some noise in the playoffs and the first task at hand is Chicago Bears next week. To be perfectly honest, I had no clue, no clue what to really expect out of the Chicago Bears in week 17. Had no clue whatsoever. None. It's a road game, divisional opponent, said divisional opponent, the Minnesota Vikings, has a simple task ahead of them. Win and they're in the playoffs. Win and they played the Chicago Bears in Soldier Field in the wild card round. The Bears technically have something to play for, but in reality, knowing the Rams are playing the 49ers and it's in L.A., even without Gurley, it's like they're probably going to win that game and move on to the comfortable. So I'm like, are the Bears going to really be motivated here? How long is Nagy going to stick with the starters? Let's pray there aren't any super serious injuries for this really good Bears team that is a contender. I have no idea. The Bears could come out and play their backups and play tough but lose. They come out and play their starters all game and win. Or they can play and just not really be into it and the Vikings kind of run over them. I didn't know what to expect. But my God, was I impressed with what I saw on Sunday. I was super impressed. For the Chicago Bears to go on the road, which at times has been a struggle for them this year, against a divisional team, that had everything to play for when the Bears had already clinched a playoff spot. They've already clinched the division, meaning they've clinched a home playoff game. And to go into Minnesota like that and thoroughly kick the shit out of the Vikings, and let's say what it was, the score of the game does not indicate the level of ass-whooping that the Bears delivered on the Vikings on Sunday. Period. Second-year quarterback Mitch Trubisky. And it's intercepted by Fuller. And what a great interception. And the Bears' defense comes up big. And they win the NFC North 2018 Division Champions. They're headed back to the playoffs. Well, there's a lot more on the line, right, in the playoffs. You're here, right? You've done all this work to get to this point. There's no reason to let up now. This is where it gets real for uh, for all of us. It'll be a, a, a new situation for us together for the first time, and I'm looking forward to it. The Eagles are going to Soldier Field. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. They're the Super Bowl reigning champ, and you can see that when they step on the field. Caught over the middle and into the end zone. Zach for the touchdown. Everybody takes their game to the next level. The intensity is higher, the crowds are louder, and so everything just intensifies by that much more. Everything's gonna be turned up a notch, uh, but we will be too. So we're gonna go in there well prepared and just continue to stick to the things that have got us to this point. I tell you what, this team is scary. They can hit you in the mouth and make you make decisions. Going to throw, Cousins, hit and drop, down he goes, sack back at the 40, Akeem Hicks. You know, the regular season is fine and dandy, and, and taking care of business being 12-4 and four is, a, is a phenomenal thing and a phenomenal turnaround for this team. But it doesn't mean anything if you don't play well in the playoffs. So everybody will forget how good we were throughout the season. So you got to capitalize on this moment. Leave it on the line every single snap. Take care of business. We're only promised today. Let's go get it.